I've been working with the Harris Falcon 5020s and 5022s for a little bit. And uh, one of the things I've come across is there's a cable that goes between the radio and the amplifier. It's a 10 pin cable. So I built up this adapter that can go between the exciter and the amplifier. Gives you access to all 10 pins. And the same adapter could be used between the exciter and the control head to access the points there. So you could do things like check individual voltages, look at data streams, look at ALC levels, inject audio. Or in this case, I'm using it to externally power one of the exciters without an amplifier. You can find out the pin designations from the manuals. This is the one for the amplifier to the radio. And this is the one for the head to the uh, exciter. So I have a 22 that's giving me a lot of problems. The head's not working. So what I'm gonna do is uh, take the head off the radio install the adapter and what I want to do is look at the data stream between the radio and the head I'll just use pins D, E, and F, which are the uh, ground and uh, serial data to and from the control head to the radio. Go over to the computer, start the terminal program. Do the setup on it. Uh, the only thing that's really important is the baud rates, 9600 baud. And start the terminal application. Once the terminal started, it just go over and turn the radio on. You can start to see the uh, data stream between the radio and the head. So you can see with the adapter, it makes it a lot easier to uh, open the head up and get access to it. If we're doing diagnostics and looking at it, uh, you'll notice this head's missing its backup battery. I'm still waiting for my backup battery, so uh, we'll see once I get the backup batteries if they kind of help the situation out or not. In the meantime, it makes it easy to check voltages and statuses and things like the clock and the reset bus with it open like this.